Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton squared off on foreign policy. Let's take a look at how that went. Secretary Clinton is talking about taking out ISIS. We will take out ISIS. Well, President Obama and Secretary Clinton created a vacuum the way they got out of Iraq because they got out. They shouldn't have been in. But once they got in, the way they got out was a disaster and ISIS was formed. So she talks about taking them out. She's been doing it a long time. She's been trying to take them out for a long time. But they wouldn't have even been formed if they left some troops behind, like 10,000 or maybe something more than that. And then you wouldn't have had them. Or, as I've been saying for a long time, and I think you'll agree because I said it to you once, had we taken the oil, and we should have taken the oil, ISIS would not have been able to form either because the oil was their primary source of income. And now they have the oil all over the place, including the oil, a lot of the oil in Libya, which was another one of her disasters. Secretary Clinton. Well, I hope the fact checkers are turned up and turning up the volume and really working hard. Donald supported the invasion of Iraq. Wrong. That is absolutely Wrong. proved over and over again. Wrong. We actually advocated for the actions we took in Libya and urged that uh, Gaddafi be taken out after actually doing some business with him one time. Mr. Trump, you, a lot of these are judgment questions. You had supported the war in Iraq before the invasion. What makes your judgment? I did not what, support what, the war in, two, in Iraq. 2002. That is a mainstream media nonsense put out by her because she, frankly, I think the best person in her campaign is mainstream media. My question Just, is, since you, you, would you like to hear? Him, why is your I was why against is your judgment? the war. Wait a minute. I was against the war in Iraq. Just so you put it out. Well, it's fact check time. Here are all of Donald Trump's comments on not only the Iraq war, but also Libya, which was mentioned there also. I'm the only person up here, the only one that fought against going into Iraq. And I didn't want to go into Iraq. I've been against it for years. Did you oppose the war before the invasion in March of 2003? Yes, I opposed it all the time. Is there a record of that? You have to understand, probably. I mean, you can look back to 2004, 2003. 2002, 2003. Are you for invading Iraq? Yeah, I guess. So, uh, you know, I wish it was, I, I wish the first time it was done correctly. Did you say to Howard that you, that you thought it was a no, good I, idea? No, this was before the war started. It looks like a tremendous success from a military standpoint. The war is a total catastrophe. Who do you blame? And they have a civil war going on. Who do you blame? There. Well, there's only one person you can blame, and that's our current president. I would like to see our president get us out of the war. You know how they get out? They get out. That's how they get out. Declare victory and leave. I would announce that we have been victorious in Iraq and all the troops are coming home. And let those people have their civil war. Anybody that wants more troops going over to Iraq, I think, can't win an election. Iraq, we shouldn't have been there. I get them out real fast. We shouldn't be out of there. We should have left our 20,000 so soldiers there. They should have left soldiers behind, like 20,000. We should have left some people. Gaddafi in Libya is killing thousands of people. Nobody knows how bad it is. And we're sitting around, we have soldiers all over the Middle East, and we're not bringing them in to stop this horrible carnage. Now, we should go in, we should stop this guy, which would be very easy and very quick. We could do it surgically. It's horrible what's going on. It has to be stopped. We should do, on a humanitarian basis, immediately go into Libya, knock this guy out very quickly, very surgically, very effectively. But let me just tell you, Syria, he's saying that I was in favor of Syria. He said I was in favor of Libya. I was, I never discussed that subject. I was in favor of Libya. We would be so much better off if Gaddafi were in charge right now. If these politicians went to the beach and didn't do a thing, and we had Saddam Hussein, and if we had Gaddafi in charge, instead of having terrorism all over the place, would be, at least they killed terrorists, all right? Let me ask you about Libya. You've been highly critical of, of Libya and Hillary Clinton. You were also for military action to oust Gaddafi and military action to take care of the humanitarian situation in Libya. You supported that. When you say I supported that, I supported Libya? Yeah, you supported the intervention in Libya. I did? Where, where do you see that? In a video blog from 2011, you said... Now, we should go in, we should stop this guy, which would be very easy and very quick. We could do it surgically, stop him from doing it, and save these lives. That's a big... What we're talking about. I mean, but you were for difference. intervention. Don't forget, I'm the only one. I made a lot of money with Gaddafi, if you remember. He came to the country, and 
he had to make a deal with me because he needed a place to stay and he paid me a fortune and never got to stay there. And it became sort of a big joke. I mean, but look you at, were for intervention, just to clear that up. I was I'm for confused. doing something, but I wasn't for what you have right now. And right now, ISIS has their oil, John. This is one of the things that confuses some people about your positions, though. Right. You said you weren't for intervention, but you, you were for intervention in, Lib in Libya. I, I didn't mind surgical, and I said surgical. You do a surgical shot and you take them out. But I wasn't for what happened. Look at the way it's, I mean, look at with Benghazi and with all of the problems that you've had. It was handled horribly. Because I think the since then you said you were never for interventions. So uh, I was good. never for a strong intervention. I, so, I could have seen surgical where you take out Gaddafi and his group. Oh, God, those clips are so awesome. Uh, it, what we did in Libya was surgical. Nobody can argue it wasn't surgical. It was boom, boom, in, out. No ground troops. Pop, pop. You're gone. So in other words, the exact same thing that he called for is what they did. And it was still a mess. So they shouldn't have done it, but he was for it. So uh, uh, where do I begin? Look, if Donald Trump really wanted to attack Hillary Clinton on foreign policy, all he'd be able to say is, okay, she actually voted for the Iraq war. She was in government. So that's what makes her support for the Iraq war worse than my tepid support for the Iraq war when I said I was in favor in 2002 on Howard Stern's show. Okay, that's a kind of a weak argument, but it really is the only true argument you have to say, yeah, I was kind of tepidly for it, but she actually voted for it and she was in a position of power at the time, so hers is worse. That's a fair point, but he doesn't make that point because he's not nuanced and he doesn't care about facts. Uh, and then on the issue of Libya, his only argument really is, well, Hillary orchestrated Libya. Yes, I was in favor of it at the time, and I, back and forth I went a million times as to whether I'm for it or against it or whatever. And they did it exactly like I said they should have done it. But she orchestrated it, so that's worse because I didn't orchestrate it. Like, these are weak arguments, but they're the only actual arguments that... Trump has given the facts. But again, he's not nuanced. He doesn't make these points. There's a lot to attack on Hillary Clinton's foreign policy record. But yeah, when you dig into his history, he's not the best person to make those critiques. Because he was tepidly in favor of Iraq, uh, Iraq, and then his positions became incoherent after a while. Let's get all the troops out. Don't get them all out! Only uh, gotta keep like 20,000 there. Uh, let's go in, slash, let's not go in, and oh yeah, while we're at it, as he said in the first clip, let's take the oil. Dude, that's not, that's not, that, you're advocating for committing war crimes yet again on primetime TV. Like, that's not in the realm of discussion. That's not anywhere near acceptable. That's a fucking war crime. You're admitting that you're going to violate international law and the sovereignty of this nation in front of everybody. And then, by the way, you want to talk about proving a jihadist narrative. That's one of their main things is, oh, the big bad West and imperialism, they're jacking natural resources. Trump is like, I'm going to let them know that that's accurate and henceforth increase their recruitment. <laughs> so unbelievable stupidity. So understand, man, look, I've, I've been leading the charge against Hillary on foreign policy too, so I want nobody to misunderstand me. Hillary Clinton is far too hawkish. She's cuddled up to neocons. I don't agree with her foreign policy, and I think she's horrific on foreign policy. I think that's absolutely true, and I will continue to lead the charge against her. It is also true, though, that Donald Trump's arguments, the line of argument that he uses against her, it's largely bullshit. Because he did have tepid support for the Iraq war, he did support the intervention in Libya, he's contradicted himself a million and one times, and you kneecap your own arguments against Hillary, which were sound, but you kneecap those arguments when you express that support for the Iraq war and when you express support for the intervention uh, in Libya. So uh, on foreign policy, in my mind, it's one disaster versus another disaster because they're both too hawkish and Trump is also a crazy person on top of that. So, I mean, you guys have seen all the evidence yourself now, so you make up your own mind.